Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Star Wars A Rim World Tale. We're back in the temple, and it's been a little while. If you haven't seen my updates, I was unfortunately under the weather last week after my birthday. Uh, unfortunately, my voice went to crap, and so I couldn't do much at all. But I'm back. I'm back. I'm back in the temple, back with everyone else, and we're, we're feeling fine. Unfortunately, Willow is not feeling fine. She is still recovering from her sleeping sickness and I think she will be for a while. Donna, Donna, you're doing fine. Yeah, you're going to be good. Anesthetic is wearing off currently. You'll be up and about in no time at all. Damien is cutting the roses and Red, Red, it's good to have you back, my dude. It's good to have you back. Um, now, you should be ready to go, my friend. Well, Boris given birth, that's, that's fantastic news, everyone. Let's start the celebrations already. We know that we're back already. So you've had a hand that's been sliced off. Oh, you're actually, you haven't received treatment. Oh no, you're still recovering from that. Okay, I see. Well, you are still recovering, so we'll give you a little bit longer before we kick you on out. Um, oh, great. Oh, no, <laughs> maybe I should have cut it. Oh, damn it. McCree, damn you and your fires. You're gonna, you're gonna burn yourselves alive. Well, I'll let some of the others come and try and put those fires out. Um. Either that or we're going to have to go and put him down. You know what, Triton? I think um, I think we're going to go and deal with this, my friend. Let's see, is anyone else going to get there first? Um, mm, Triton might actually get there first. So he's going to have to put McCree down because um, he's going to burn this place down big time. So we're going to attempt to uh, arrest him. Uh, let's get this going soon. Otherwise, they're going to be able to escape here. Uh, go ahead. He's already firefighting. Okay. Put it out, please. There we go. Whoo, that was close. That was close. Um, all right, everyone get in there. Start putting out the fires. Okay, all right. McCree. Um, I can't, I can't attack you for some reason. Why can't I? Hmm, that's bizarre. Um, can I just get you to do a forced melee attack? No, I can get you to force choke him, though. There we go. Hey, hey, that was enough to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Triton. Well done. We just um, maybe crushed his neck. Oh, yeah, we actually crushed his neck, and he is currently suffocating. Wow. That's a powerful... That is a powerful force choke. God damn. It's kind of funny that they're going out of here with... Um... Oh, he's actually choking now. Um, does, do we want to save him? Uh, kind of. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Who's close enough to actually be able to assist with this? I'm guessing I'm miles away right now. Oh, I'm I'm asleep, so yes, I am quite literally miles away. Um, hmm. Okay, I wonder if I can get up there in time. Ah, uh, you know what? I will try. Take him to the bed, and then I think we're going to be able to treat him. He may suffocate before I can reach him, though. That's the only thing. And if that happens, well, well, okay. He's okay apparently. He's all right in the end. Right, let me through. Oh, Solace is releasing him. All right, that's one released. That's good. Um, how about, yeah, you're already already doing some doctoring. Okay. Yeah, he's just coughing now, so he's not, he's not fully suffocating. And Anson has leveled up, so yay. More force points for you, my friend. And uh, we're going to go for accuracy there. So he's pretty, pretty damn good as well. Um, are you actually considered a master yet, Anson? You must be, right? Um, let's see. Uh, you will tell us under character. Uh, Grey Sage. Ooh. Intriguing. Anson the Grey Sage. What about Cyrus? Cyrus is a Jedi. He is a Jedi Master. And those are some great skills. I mean, yeah. Some really, really good skills across the board here. Anson, thank you for getting that planted. Good old growing. Damien's helping us out with that as well. That's a lot of grass, actually, for our animals to be able to consume. And Solace, as always, is doing a fantastic job at doing some training. And there we go, the Galactic Empire. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, we're sending their people back out there. And each time they go, they're like, actually, you know what? We attacked them and, well, they they healed us. They made sure we were okay. Um, you are good to go. So let's go ahead and release you. So we're going to go to Prisoner for Garrison here. And we're going to release you. You can now leave. Thank you, Erin. Appreciate that. Okay. Everyone else is doing fine. We've 
we've got so much steel in here that we probably we probably don't need to be there to be that much. A lot of packed, uh, rather, uh, packed survival meals. Matching outfits. What's this? Are wearing the exact same apparel, which is making them sad. What? <laughs> what? What? Because it's like a uniform. It, that's that's a thing now. What? <laughs> Give them at least one thing that isn't the same material. Well, you guys chose to wear the Imperial stuff. And you chose to wear that helmet. Or rather, wear that helmet. So, you know, that's your own doing. I can't stop you from doing that. It, that that was kind of funny. That was kind of funny. It looked like he was wearing the mask then. It's one of our boars. Okay, um, we got a pirate ship. Tri okay, pirate Merchant company, Komodo company. Okay, all right. Um, let's go get Solus to go have a chat with them. Go sit down in your chair and um, see if we can do some negotiating because we have, we have a fair few weapons that we are wanting to sell. Now, did we actually get that uh, that one built? Uh, Kuga Escapee is fully healed. Fantastic. And yes, we do. We have a trade beacon down there as well. So Kuga, let's go prisoner, and we're going to release you. What's the condition? Ah, just some shattered ribs. That's fine. That's fine. Um, but let's see. That's coming along though. That's good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. The bedrooms are going. Uh, we could sell them, but that's kind of... We're against that. I've just noticed now that there are a lot of sirens in the background. Ah, oh dear. City falling apart. Okay, so uh, they are selling components in the rest, but they're selling them for a lot. Um, so... No, uh, but they are selling pieces here. A brain stimulator, which we made. Auxiliary AI, mining. Very, very expensive, very expensive. We've got some scyther blades. Oh, we can sell them the scyther blades, finally. Look at that, oh, ho, ho. that is a profit. Yes, nice, fantastic. And obviously we can buy some other things there as well. Oh, good, look, we can sell these. So I think I am gonna buy something from them. I just haven't my made my mind up with what. Um, but we're going to try and sell pretty much all of our weapons here, just so we can clear out our stockpiles, because most of the stuff we're not really going to use, because it's pretty poor quality weaponry. That's a Masterwork Revolver, which is, you know, well, you know, we'll hold on to the Masterwork Revolver. The rest, the rest is going to go, though. Yeah. Because we're pretty well equipped at this stage. We will keep some. Um, we're selling, so we're going this way. Yes, we will sell you. Okay, and we'll sell you. Minigun, get out of here. Uh, I'm tempted to leave, yeah, that and launcher pistols as well, just in case. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Blaster carbine, get rid of all of the things. And we still have some power. Oh no, that's to buy. Okay, that's all right. Um, so obviously that's, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Uh, wow. There must be something pretty big going on outside. Ah, huh, okay. Yeah, the world really is ending over here. Um, I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> I think. I think. No, so let's let's have a look. What? A, it's all really expensive, which sucks. Uh, but we need to try and get this down a fair amount. Um, I'm okay with us selling all of the stuff here. We just want to make sure that we're getting something back for it. We, You know what? I'm tempted to take the auxiliary AI. Um, it's permanently communicates with the user it acts as a guide okay yeah um so it's going to help with mining it helps improve mining um okay mining speed okay and the smoothing speed okay okay all right well we'll probably give that hmm to mirror I'll, I'll, I'll think i'll think uh but yeah we'll go ahead and put that on there um still a profit though really Oh, that's the brain stimulator. I was like, what? What the hell? Oh, I guess that's a sign. Um, <laughs> accept. We shall accept. We shall accept. Okay. Um, yeah, I think Mirror might be the one that we give that to, um, to increase her mining speed because she is an incredible miner. Is she the best miner that we have, though? That's the question. So let's go to mining. Oh, look at that. More improvements. Um, I think she is the best. Let's see. Four... That's growing, that's not even the right thing that I'm looking at here. Um, yeah, she is the best. So we're gonna we're gonna do a little operation on Mirror. Hopefully that's gonna be okay. She is the bionic um no, not Zabrak. She's the bionic Zabrak. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead. Treat chemical fascination. Intriguing, you can do that? 
How though? How do you what? How how, how do we do that? Work speed governed by medical operation speed. Yeah. Intriguing skill. What does it require? I okay. I'm I'm actually going to put that on there. Um, and then let's go. Hmm. We can uh, the the Luciferium is behind closed walls, so we're fine. Remove part. No, we want to go ahead and. Why can't I add it? We can do brain surgery. Oh, it must be getting hauled somewhere right now. That's what the pups like to do. They like to haul it, and then while they have their hands on it, we can't do anything with it. So, yeah. I, I am going to be intrigued to see if she's going to receive treatment. Oh, yep, she's going to rest there. So someone's going to come along and give her some kind of treatment. I love that we're using all Stormtrooper gear now. <laughs> God damn. All right, let's have a look. Um, it'll be in store. <clears throat> um, yeah, no, we don't seem to be able to do that. And, okay, look at that goodwill. Oh, is that... Relations have warmed. They're no longer hostile towards us. The Empire are no longer hostile because we were too good to them. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow, we actually got it back to five. That's that's kind of amazing. Uh, but not exactly what we're after. Hey, McCree, what, are you escaping? You are escaping. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think I'd let you go. Ah, uh, fine. We'll, 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 we'll let him go. We'll let him go. Legend, um, yeah, you're actually going to heal up fine. You are going to heal up fine. Well, I mean, we've made peace with, uh, unintentionally made peace with the Empire. Maybe, maybe here, here's the way that I see it in my mind. Maybe we have made peace with um, Dankman and his people here. I mean, the re main reason we started the, our fight with him in the first place was because of the slavery. Uh, we wanted to free the people that they were bringing to try and sell. And so the way that I can kind of see it is that the people that we've released, they have gone back there, they've been saying, you know what, these people in this temple, these Jedi, they make a point. And they healed us. And they didn't need to. They brought us back to health. And so maybe they're able to see that. And maybe there's enough of them that... You know, there's there've, there've been some kind of like a almost like an overthrow, and so Dankman seeing this happen has gone okay, all right, and maybe just maybe there is a switching of sides going on here. Um, okay, he yeah he exited healthy. Okay, I guess we released him as well, huh? Yeah, that's gonna be a lot better now. We're looking yeah twenty. Well, that's a that's an easy way to uh, increase your relations if you're wanting to with a faction. Capture them, heal them, and uh, you'll be you'll be fine. Why is there no electricity on that orbital trade beacon right now? Are we suffering from lack of power? No, we most certainly aren't. So, why is this off right now? Where has? Hmm. Okay. Has I guess that's never been connected then. Really? Did I do that? Did I screw that up? I think I must have. Huh, I thought it was, I must have thought it was close enough for it to be able to reach. Well, it can't reach through stone walls, so that's never going to work. What was I thinking there? Who knows what I was thinking. Um, well, I mean, if we go ahead and just smooth that wall, we'll be able to run it through here, so. Um, I actually can't even remember if I've got smoothing on. I, yeah, I, can't, I actually cannot remember. Um, it would have been under structure though, right? Maybe, who knows? Who bloody knows now? Um, I need to get some kind of power into there though, so let's go ahead and try and think of a way to be able to do that without just knocking a hole in the wall. I mean, we can just run it through this, so there we go. That's going to be the easiest and most straightforward way for us to do that. It's not a priority though, so... They will get it done, but not right away. Erin, what can I do to help you out? You're feeling terrible. It's okay. You're going to be all right. All of these should be helping with that. I mean, she does have quite a low break, um, but all of this should help deal with that. I mean, a lot of good things here. Impressive bedroom as well. That's great. Yeah, she'll, she'll be okay. She'll pull through. She will pull through. Um, looks like the chicken population has stayed pretty much the same. 
Um, we're well on top of all of our silage and, and feed for our animals. They're not going hungry. We definitely have a harmonious existence here now. Um, you know, the most that we've had for a very, very long time. We almost always seem to have a large supply of meat in here now, meat and eggs. And we've got a whole heap of stews on the go at any one time, fruit drinks for days, coffees, teas. I mean, life here is pretty good for everyone. At least I've got to think so. Not bloody bad, not bloody bad. Now I'm wondering whether, no, actually that's pretty much fully constructed. We're only missing out on a few things. Um, some bamboo down there and maybe just a few other walls that need to be swapped out, chopped down. Just a few more things to be built. But yeah, they're certainly getting here. Certainly getting there. Bandit camp opportunity. Hmm. The Butinium Treaty. Oh, they're offering us a fair amount. Okay. You know what? Hell yes, we'll do that. We need to do something now. I mean, we've made peace with the bloody empire. <laughs> Until they rock around again. If they if they try the whole slavery thing again, then we are going to put them back in their place. But maybe we've been able to, you know, broker a peace between the rebels and them. Um, it's really not that far. So that's totally worth it. That's the bloody scorpions as well. So um, there's two. There's two, actually. We might be able to do like a little bit of a one-two. Making it across that river isn't going to be easy, but that's something that we might, just might be able to do here. Yeah, I think launching to that one and then going to that one on the way back, it's maybe possible. Okay, all right, well, looking at that, are we going to be able to do that with our four Jedi alone? Well, yes, I think so. We need to actually go ahead and build some more transportation pods, though, to be able to do that. 80 steel and one component. And I wonder if we could hmm, take the resources necessary to do this. I mean, how much does it cost to build a launcher? So it's 80 and 3. Okay, so you need a fair few components to be able to get it done. Um, what's our component stock like at the moment? 31. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It used quite a few components to be able to construct launches on the other side. I think having them walk back is going to be okay. Yeah, there's, there's going to be quite a few days in between. And probably what I will end up doing is literally just skipping over that time. Because if nothing's happening back here, if things are just carrying on, you know, tickety-boo, then... Well, we'd just be skipping ahead to the point where either they arrive at their next destination or something of the like. So Red is still sleeping there for the time being. Um, these rooms aren't finished yet, so I don't blame him for wanting to rest there. Everyone else should have a bed. It looks like everyone, everyone's sleeping soundly. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, I like it. Oh, legend, you're healed. You're doing fine. Okay, well, let's let's go to you. Prisoner, we are going to release you, which is going to make the Empire like us even more. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have any clothes for you. Apologies. And White Mountain Unification are passing on by. Now, they used to be an enemy of ours as well, but they have, you know, they've, uh, they've become friendly with us over time. Just because we've been nice and we healed their people as well. Changed their opinion of us. Yeah, it's definitely the, the best way to kind of broker peace. Damage them, beat them up, and then heal them afterwards. Yeah, works a charm. Okay, what are we looking at in here? Um, 16 degrees, okay. Pretty much the same temperature. We don't have to, we don't have to be doing any cooling right now. I don't actually know what that's set to. 21, that's fine. I'll leave it set to that. So if it does get too hot, we'll cool it down. That's a livable temperature. Um, definitely within their comfortable range. How is Erin doing this morning? Feeling bad, but that seems to be passing. Ate lavish meal, luxuriantly comfortable, just sitting there and looking out into our little temple garden. It's very nice, very nice. You know what, we should actually build some copies of these. Um, although we might be lacking cassowary leather. And there, we got some more points from uh, releasing the legend. Um, cassowary leather, cassowary leather. Hmm. Wonder how much we have, if any at all. Well, if we see them getting constructed, we know we're good. Oh, okay, oh, poor Spago, are you pregnant again? Yep, <sighs> poor Spago. <laughs> um, can I, I can't, I can't do any, yeah, I, I can't help you out, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Spago, but I was just feeding, feeding this dead settler <laughs> to Spago. <laughs> Oh dear, um, yep, that's something a Jedi would do, totally. 
Okay, well, you know, I guess we've done worse things. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Minor break risk. Willow. Okay, how are you doing? You're probably just quite hungry, right? This sleeping sickness is crazy. It just, uh, it doesn't seem to go away. Is there any other way we can treat it? Like, I don't know how we do. Knocking things around here. You know what? I think I think the problem here is she maybe doesn't need to stay in bed. And I think that's probably what the issue is here. If I go to work, and if we go to Willow, if we go to bed rest and turn it off, or rather put it down, yeah, she can still get up and do things. It's just she probably needs to sleep more often. But because it's an illness, when you have um, bed rest as a priority, she's going to be prioritizing that bed rest. So... I think we're just going to get her to continue doing her thing. Otherwise, she's going to be in that bed pretty much forever. So, yeah, I mean, she's perfectly fine. Yeah, nice. Okay, work frenzy. Solace. Fantastic. You do you, Solace. Um, how are these coming along? Oh, good. I think that's what exactly what she's working on. Fantastic. Well, as soon as those are done... Oh, damn it. Really? Cobras? Son of a bitch. It's been a long time since we've had a freaking cobra. Well, Triton, I think, is going to go full force rage on this sucker. <laughs> Um, no, no, we don't want to use Force Rage on it. No, but he's going to go ahead and melee attack that Cobra to death. Son of a bitch. Eating our boar. God damn. He's on his way. He's on his way. He's after the Cobra. And we'll see exactly how good he does. Um, Collis needs treatment. Oh, she, did she fall asleep? Oh, no, she just needs treatment. Okay. Um, a caravan from the Galactic Empire are here. Imperial bulk goods. Well, I guess they have decided to, um... Yeah, try and make peace by coming and offering us some goods. We'll have a look. We'll see what they have to offer. And who knows, we might be able to make something from this. A very, very quick work from it. Um, yeah, he split the cobra's heart and body. The missing body part caused the cobra to expire. Not surprised. I'm not surprised about that. Okay, ah, Blitzstar, brewing up some tea for us, using the patented Triton Wolf force brew technique. Doing a damn good job at that. Poor Eren's bringing in the little the little boar now to, to, to butcher it. Well, nothing wasted, nothing wasted. And thank you, team. You're doing a great job in here. More beds have been built. Fantastic. This room's pretty much done now, so I'm going to go ahead and give this to Red. So congratulations, Red. You now have an actual room once again. It's been a long time since we've had visitors, actually. Mm, yeah, a long, long time. It's how we made most of our um, coin early on in this, is, is through those guests. Um, matching outfits again. Um, it's Athena in red this time. <laughs> Oh dear. I, I, how upset does that make them? Let's see. Minus three. Someone was euthanized. Huh? What? Mirror's fine. I was like, where the hell is Mirror? Like, that was the last operation we did. Um, oh, drug free. Hang on, wait, what? How did I do that though? We'll need tending. Intriguing. Hmm. Interesting. And I can't, I can't install that AI chip. Yeah, strange, strange. Um, are we still, we're still doing research. We are. Energized components working towards. Okay, all right. Good, good, good. Uh, we, we we have brain surgery, so we should be able to do it. However, I guess I guess that piece just disappeared. Somehow. Who bloody knows? Um, are you here yet, Imperial Provisioners? Uh, if so... Oh, there you are. There you are. Tay. Okay, Tay. Oh, Tay. We'll let you arrive. Have a chat, and then we'll... We'll go get Solace to go have a proper word to you. We don't know where your elephants are going to go, but that's fine. You head on inside, we'll let you get comfortable first, and then we'll do our thing. Probably gonna head down there, aren't you? No, you're gonna head into here. Okay, all right, Solace, you can go have a word with Tay, eh? Go have a chat. Oh, is he gonna, yeah. Oh no, he's just taking a really weird route. Okay, oh, you are going down the bottom. That's fine. All right, here we go. We caught up to you. 
Okay, so yeah, you're charging us pretty extreme prices for things. You don't have too much to sell, but we have a few things that we'd like to sell to you. We've got a lot of olives, like a crazy amount of olives, in fact. Um, so let's go through our... Yeah, we, want, we obviously want to keep those, but some of the smaller amounts, we want to go and sell those. That's a lot of pig skin. Holy crap. I, and apparently we did have enough capybara skin. Um, although it wasn't capybara that we were using for those pads, was it? No. So let's go sell our clothing that isn't the best quality in the world. That's fine. That's also fine. Yeah, we'll get rid of you. Keep the rest there. Keep all of... Well, those aren't ours. That's fine. A lot of helmets, different types. Uh, 75 is enough that we can hold on to it for now. And yeah, we'll hold on to all of those as well. Um, so apparently we do have a wooden bed just kicking them out somewhere. It's good to know. Um, but yeah, so they're, they're, they're bulk goods. So they're trading in a few in a few things. I'd want to buy the components, but obviously it's going to be quite expensive. Wow. Negotiate a bonus minus 21. Why is she so terrible at negotiating? Why is that? Is it because we were previously at war? I don't know why, but Solace for some reason is terrible at negotiating right now. I'm going to go ahead and cancel just for this, just for the second. Let's just have a look at Solace really quick. Hmm. Socials 14. You know what? What the hell? We'll just get as many components as we can. We're going to have to spend a little bit to be able to do that. That's fine. Um, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to go through really quick and just sell everything once again. It'd be good if there was a sell everything beneath a certain percentage. That'd be nice. We don't actually have that many things to sell, though, so it makes that a pretty quick process. Yeah. Okay, all right, so it's just going to be those components. We'll go ahead and buy all your components. It's going to cost us 2,000. That's that's okay. We get 36 out of it, so that's good. We'll go ahead and spend it, sure. And we don't need the steel. We've got ridiculous amounts of steel, so that's fine. Damien, you're close to breaking, eh? Ugly environment. Someone was euthanized times two. Who the hell was euthanized twice? Was that quite a while ago? Am I missing something here? Um, I'm seriously impressed with how much have, has actually been growing on this field here, though. That's a lot of grass. Yeah, it's very, very, very impressive that they've actually managed to cover as much as they have so far. And it also means that we're going to be cutting down all these trees and other plants in here, which I'm perfectly fine with. It means that there's less kind of cover should someone try and charge up towards us. Hmm. Yeah, that's cool. But it also does mean that... Uh, there's not as much going on. Uh, we've got one potato plant all the way out over there. I'm gonna go. And <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this uh, this one little potato plant over there. That's fine. A wild boar has given birth. Yeah, I'm. I can't remember. Uh, maybe I accidentally did some boars potentially. Although euthanize usually that's that's. <gasps> no, no, no. Okay, I do remember. See, it's been a long time since I played, but it, it would have been two of the prisoners that had um, shattered spines. That we did that too. So obviously, they've just remembered that for a while. Yeah. Giselle's just feeling terrible as well. There's no psychic drone at the moment, but um, there's something there that's causing them some form of distress. Yeah. Um, we haven't placed down any of these, have we? No. We need some more pigskin doormats. Go ahead and place them down. You there, and we'll go and put you there. Brilliant. Should be all of our options sorted with for now. And yeah, this is so much bigger than I ever anticipated it to be. The population as well. Like I didn't think we were going to grow to be as large as we are now. Um, we're still on extreme. Like we're still on extreme difficulty right now. And I'm almost wondering whether I'm going to um, change storytellers to Randy Random. Just because, um, yeah, I mean, on Cassandra, we don't have too much trouble right now at all um even on extreme and i guess we the only real villains now are the people that will never become you know friendly towards us who are the uh the dogmen and the bloody scorpions you know there, there might be a chance you can eventually win them round, but um yeah i imagine it's probably difficult must be surely 
Uh, we're going to have to have a look at those animal numbers eventually as well and see how they're doing. Um, always worth us going in here into hauling and just seeing exactly where everything is at. Like, look at that. We've got two that are completely ready to go and start doing some good work for us. Poor Spago. Unfortunately, not too much that we can do for Spago. Yeah, a lot of them have learned hauling. Fantastic. That's really, really good. Brilliant. So we'll go to the boars now and we'll start teaching them hauling. Okay. And um, we're just going to have to go get these numbers down a little bit more. Just making sure that we keep on bringing that boar population down a bit. And we're even going to have to start looking at some of the huskies and uh, not obviously not not butchering um selling them on or giving them to people so that's something that we will have a look at eventually now these should be ready to go unfortunately that hasn't been filled up i don't i don't know why um i might see if i can quickly get someone to do that for us skooma seeing as you're kind of close anyway you can fill that up for us yeah we'll get both of these fueled up ready to go just to make sure that no one's going to fall short. Let's see. All right, and just do this last one for me. And then we can go ahead and start loading them up. Getting them ready to fire out. Okay, and bam, just like that. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, group of four. We're going to go and put Triton, myself. Actually, hang on. Let's be smart about this. We need to meditate first. Go ahead, meditate. Meditate. Um, we got some over here as well. So Cyrus, meditate there. Anson, as soon as you're a grey. Um, Anson, you can use the Sith one. It should be fine. So we'll have we'll let them all have a bit of a meditate. Get that uh, force power back. Because it will just be the four of us going into this. So something to remember. Okay, we've got so many packages of vital meals now as well. We're just gonna have all of those. Okay, I think I think they are done with their dash as well. Yeah, they're gonna go rest. Okay, so let's go start getting them loaded up. Okay, so going through here, we're going to go to Anson. We're going to go to Cyrus. We're going to go to myself, and we're going to go to Triton. Okay, four of us. So we've still got 300 kgs that we can take with us. Good to know. Good to know. I'm tempted to take another um, uh, beast of burden. We could actually take one of the elephants. Elephant number two. Oh, you are quite heavy. You are quite heavy. So maybe not an elephant. We could take another. We could take an alpaca with us. They can haul a fair amount. So if we went for an adult one, I think that should be okay. 70 kgs. Yeah, and we can we can haul a fair amount on that alpaca. We're just gonna make uh, making our way back a little bit easier for us because you can't carry all of the all the crap that you actually need to survive with you. So, what if we took all of those? That's eleven days worth of food. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And apparently, some will rot in one point five. I don't know how that's going to work, but that's that's fine. 11 days, that's pretty decent. I do want to bring some other meals with us, though. How how have we gone down so low on our bowls of stew? That's interesting. I'm going to have to have a look into that, see exactly why that's happening. I want to take all the simple meals with us as well, and maybe some stir fries. I guess Triton's just been busy for a while. Yeah, take all the stir fries. That's fine. So hopefully we'll eat the perishable food first. That would be the smart thing. Um, do we want to bring anything else with us? Mm, it's tempting to bring some medicine with us, just in case, but I think we're going to be okay in this instance. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and accept this. I think that's okay. It's going to take them a little while to prepare to load all those things in, so we'll go ahead and fast forward just as they're going through that. It looks like Willow is having her rest now, so she does sleep here during the night, which is good because it gives um, our doctors a chance to go in and give her some kind of treatment, so eventually she'll overcome the sleeping sickness, but yeah, I guess it's always going to be affecting her in some form or fashion. Yeah, so it, it doesn't do too much, it just adds a bit of pain, um, lessens manipulation and consciousness, yeah, it just takes a long time for immunity to build up to that, a very, very long time in fact. All right, keep on moving, folks. Haul all of the food, essentially. 
Um, oh, no, we've got heaps. So I don't know why it was only saying, yeah, maybe there is a limit to how much you can take of one thing, or maybe it just wasn't seeing those things. Maybe it was looking up here in this stockpile. Who knows? Uh, but we do actually have a bed up there. Good to know that. Okay, you're grabbing the survival meal. Good. There's many survival meals we need to grab. Are we all working on this right now? Oh, I'm already in here. Okay. <laughs> right, did, did the others jump in as well? Yes, Anson's jumped in. So is it literally Triton just working by himself here? It is. Poor bloody Triton. Why is it just him? Every other time we've done this, it's been everybody working together, hauling all those things down here. But the poor bugger, he's doing it by himself. That's going to take a while. We'll get there, though. We'll get there, Triton. Just keep chipping away. Bit by bit. Get those pods locked and loaded. And Bolo, thank you very much. Make us some more chem fuel just to kind of complete the pile that we have down there. I'm glad to know there will be some when we arrive back here. If we arrive back here, because, you know, there's always a chance that we could fail. Or that these could might explode on launch. That, would, that wouldn't be good. Okay, another 10 going down. So it's essentially all of them. So you've got to do, yeah, at least three more trips. If not, if not a little bit more than that, Triton. It'd be nice if um, we could get the others to help out with this. But unfortunately, they don't seem to be able to do that. Our power, ha ha it's gone down a fair amount over the last few days, which is a little concerning because we haven't really been doing too much, you know, additional work in terms of power. Maybe we were doing some body burning, potentially. So it might be worth us just turning that off for the time being, having a look around and see if there's anything else that we can turn off. I guess we did add in a little bit more power usage over here. Um, surprisingly, I guess I didn't ask for the floor to be put in there. So let's go ask for that to be done now because uh, we definitely want to have some flooring in there. We're going to go for lightwood floor. Boom. Just like that. And we should be all set to go in that room now. Yeah, they're looking good. It's a little dim in the corners, but I think that's okay. You know, we're going to be by the bed anyway. Nice. Constructed roof, that's good. So that should be working perfectly fine. And the caravan is leaving. Okay. Get out of here, Tay. Be gone. Okay, Triton, are you still on the move? Let's see. Yes, indeed you are. There are still some more package survival meals that you need to grab, buddy. I can't believe we all went in there. That's ridiculous. I don't know I don't know why we did it like that, but hey, we did. <coughs> and Solace is no longer inspired. That's fine. Um, these olive trees have been such good uh, value for us. We've just got a ridiculous amount of olives in. Um, rivaling our corn production, which is pretty good. Bolo making some of those simple meals for us as well, just so we have a good stockpile of them. Blitzstar staying on top of that butchery. Good work. We're going through the eggs pretty quickly, surprisingly so. Are we collecting? Yep, yeah, we most certainly are. How are they looking? 61%? Yeah. I don't know how often they are laying, Every few days? Maybe. Triton, good job, buddy. Okay, and I think this is the last, the last survival meal uh, set. Yes. Yes. God damn. So many. So many. Nearly there, buddy. And we've had another birth. Of course we have. Okay, so what else are we bringing with us? Well, we've got our one of the alpacas, which I don't know if they've been brought down yet or not. I kind of hope that they have, that this is the last thing that Triton needs to bring down, but I guess we'll find that out soon enough. Um, nope, Alpaca 2. Okay, alright, Alpaca 2, where are you? There you are. Alright, well at least it's not a named Alpaca, so if anything bad should happen, we're going to be okay. I guess that's the thing, I didn't actually think about that. The Alpaca needs something to eat as well, so that's probably why we saw fluctuating numbers when it came to how many days worth of food we have. Might have been wise for me to bring some silage. I don't know if I can alter. Yeah. Okay, well, we're ready. So we're going to go ahead and launch them. Um, so we're going to go ahead and launch group. We're going to be launching up towards that one there. We're going to drop at the edge or drop in the center. Hmm. Dropping at the center could be interesting. Um, just because obviously we'd be right in the thick of it right away. No, we're going to drop at the edge. We're going to be smart about this. Just because... You know, my point defense works well. 
very, very well. But then again, in saying that, I think Anson and Cyrus are, you know, they're getting pretty close to, to rivaling that. And we're off, just like that. Bam, traveling across the world and landing very quickly there as an exotic goods trader is uh, passing nearby. And pirates from the Blood Scorpions are attacking your colonists. Okay, all right, I guess they can see us. Um, and I guess they're going straight for us. Major break risk. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, there we go. It's coming back. Oh, urgently hungry. Wow, why are we... Oh, because we were in the freaking pods for so long. I'll let everyone have a chance to eat. Oh, they're coming right for us. Okay, well, guys and gals, we're going to be having a quick munch here. <laughs> we're exhausted as well. No, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, wow. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, well... This is going to be an interesting fight considering we are exhausted after being in those pods cooking in the sun for such a long time. But guys and gals, we're going to find out how that fight goes in the next episode. Please do join us then. I've been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, may the force be with you.